Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 9 September 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly senior online writer Tasneem Bulbulia reveals that a youth job scheme is back on track and targeting new industries after COVID's disruption. The Youth Unemployment Service Programme, which provides an avenue to quality jobs in the private sector, created over 25,000 youth jobs last year, making it the largest jobs programme in South Africa that's fully funded by the private sector. It's now enhancing and diversifying its offering as part of its efforts to offer one potential solution to the mass youth unemployment problem facing the country. The engineering news features focus on South African Capital Equipment Export Council, with the council emphasizing that manufacturers must increase their export potential. Oil refineries, where the shutdown of oil refineries will require more oil imports. And the SA Institute of Welding, with the institute charting a new direction after the pandemic. The Mining Weekly features focus on mineral and metal processing, smelting and refining, where control-based upgrades are popular among processing plants. And Mining in Zimbabwe, where environmental and industry policy gaps and corruption constrain the industry. This week's business leader is Gaetano Perillo, CEO of Weldamax. And as this week's cartoon shows, reportage by News24 has exposed in detail the circumstances surrounding the murder of whistleblower Babita Diokaren, leaving little room for doubt that some Gauteng officials were chillingly incompetent and insensitive at best, if not complicit, after she was killed in a drive-by shooting outside her home. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.